My grandson Mason stayed with us this weekend, so he's going home today, so I'm going to make him some stuffed peppers. He's vegetarian, so these are going to be my vegetarian version. So the first thing, clean out the pepper, take the seeds out. I've got a pot of water going and I'm going to blanch them for a couple of minutes. This step you don't have to do if you uh, don't want your peppers nice and soft. Totally up to you. So slice up however many peppers. I'm going to do three. I actually just decided to do uh, two peppers. So I have one pepper sliced that way and then one sliced the opposite way. So they can be done either way. My preference is I do them this way. It just gives you more of a bowl. But I just wanted uh, to show you it's not ruined if you end up slicing them this way. You can still fill them. So I'm going to boil them for a couple of minutes just to soften them up a little bit. They've been boiling for a couple of minutes. So I'm going to take them out. Put them in the 8x8 eight eight that I'm going to cook them in. And I'm going to use a bit of the water that they boiled in. When I bake them, so I'm just going to put the water in the bottom here before I fill the peppers. So now they're ready, so I just have to do the filling. So I've pre cooked some rice, basmati rice, because that's what I had. So I'm going to put about a cup of rice. I chopped up some uh, two little tiny tomatoes that I had. So I'm going to put in the tomatoes. And to season, I'm going to add Half a teaspoon of ginger, half a teaspoon of cumin, um, a teaspoon of chili powder, Teaspoon of garlic and a teaspoon of salt. Now I'm also going to add black beans that I've drained and washed. I rinse them quite a few times because I, I just like to. I've always done that so. Half a can of black beans, and I'm going to put in some corn. So the same, probably, half a can of corn. Mix that all up. And the quantities are based on uh, how many peppers. So if you're making more stuffed peppers, well then obviously you'll have to adjust the quantities accordingly. So once everything's nicely mixed up, then add it to the peppers.
so each pepper seems like it takes about two to three tablespoons of filling. If you end up that you have um, filling left over, you can wrap this in uh, any sort. You can wrap it in uh, lettuce if you're not doing the gluten thing, or you can wrap it in uh, tortilla shell. Um, short, yeah, tortilla shells. So there is my stuffed peppers. Now they're going to go into the oven. I'm going to lightly cover them with a bit of tin foil and or maybe not. I don't have any tin foil. Well, so I'm going to put them in the oven and cook them hmm, probably for about an hour. I will check them with the fork and see if the pepper is uh, nice and soft. So here are the finished peppers all set to be eaten.